forever winter. The reason why we're playing this today is because there is a very clear disparity in the indie world space between marketing and gameplay. And the understanding that what you see is never going to be what you get. Say, for example, something like Choo Choo Charles. A very interesting concept, fascinating in previews, but in execution, an experience that lasted two to three hours and then was never spoken about again. But we got a couple other games coming out very, very soon that kind of fit that mold of, here's a lot of internet marketing, here's a not so ideal product. I'm gonna be hunting down those games, starting with this one. This is Forever Winter, a game that's been hit and hyped upon for a long time to be the PVE Tarkov experience. Let's give it a go. Endless cracked earth bakes under a blistering sun. Ruined Europa bunkers dot the landscape, offering scarce shelter from the harsh elements but filled with decay. Watch for sudden your skadax. Survive by staying vigilant, navigating the treacherous environment and cr crumbling tech. Vendors. Ooh. Heisenberg, Charles, and Bunko! So in Forever Winter, we are not the Predator. We are not the hammer nor the anvil. We are the piece of metal between. Our only goal is to avoid being hit and being pinned long enough to get out. So that's what we're gonna do. Oh my god. That is a big boy. We keep blue. Uh, we might make it. Ooh. Uh, okay. That's not good. That's not good. Hang on. Oh my god. Kill them? I don't know if we can, dude. I don't know if I want to even try. That's too not much good. risk. We should run. That's really bad. Oh god. This is why we don't fight! Okay, the, contru the human controls in this are not great. What the hell is that thing? Signs point to death here. Thank God we brought all that extra ammo. Gamblers have been alerted. Beware, they will not stop coming. Okay. That's less than ideal. Oh, we are so badly injured. Um, yep. <laughs> Interesting. All right. It's. I'm really struggling with the controls because there's only one sensitivity, and that sensitivity controls your gun, your zoom down sights, and your turnaround time. So it takes me five minutes to spin. Okay, so like, okay, aim down sight. I can aim fine. Snap two, snap two, snap two, snap, snap. But then when I want to turn around, I have to do this. Because they haven't separated it, which is really annoying. I'll try and show you, right? So I would go bang, 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 and then try to turn around to run away. But because it follows my mouse, instead of being W, S, and D, then I have to stop, spin, bang, 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 right? 
very weird design decision not to have those two sensitivities separated. Okay. So our goal is just to get to an extraction point. Now, I don't know. Oh, hey, RIP. Does it have the location of my corpse on the map? Turrets. Okay, I can loot enemies' kills because they're killing each other. Interesting. These guys are still fighting. Can I get the drop on them and just... Oh, shit. If I can drop them all... There's two left. much ammo. Damn, dude, do not mess with them. Holy shit. They just destroyed me. There were more than two and they had like a grenade launcher. <laughs> oh man. All right. Okay. I was so confident as well. I was like, okay, there's only two of them left. We can absolutely take these guys on loot their stuff, and then we'll be free to go. Nope. Two more guys come around the corner and whip out a goddamn grenade launcher. Bonky, I need 545 ammo. Thank you, Bonky. You're so nice to me. And we'll put all that in here. And then we'll try again. The AI is definitely more A than I right now with these guys spamming, crouching up and down. But oh shit! Oh shit! Jesus Christ! Come on, give me some healing. Dick. Shit! Oh my god! Brother, I am wounded! Shit. What's this game about? We're sneaking around a battlefield trying to loot enough scraps to survive. Oh, don't come over here, please. My helmet says don't fluffing move. Jesus Christ. Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, goodbye, Terry. <laughs> War. War never changes. Bad luck today. Yeah, definitely bad luck today. Jesus Christ. What are those? I thought those were part of the skybox. It's getting up. Whoa. How the hell are we going to get past this? Shit. <laughs> oh, God, it must have sorted me. Jesus Christ, I didn't even see it kill me. It was just like that. 
<laughs> war! War never changes! I didn't even turn to look at what was shooting at me. I'm just, I'm just go Whoa! Oh, whoa! Hey, sorry guys! Sorry about that! You didn't see me! Jesus Christ! They were extract camping! Rick for looting. Welcome back. Now we know you can survive in the field against one barrel of water from anywhere. This water will do us a lot of good. Tell you what, I'll give you a better rig to carry up and damage destroyed weaponry if you do this way. The atmosphere, the sound design is incredible. The game design philosophy is also incredible. The AI is crap. Oh, As the field to play, clunky. Quite clunky in terms of the movement. Um, and the AI is definitely very clunky. Invisible walls are everywhere. Is it still fun though? Absolutely. Is the sound design amazing? Absolutely. Is it worth the price? I honestly can't remember how much I bought it for, so I couldn't, couldn't tell you that one. Is this early access? Obviously. One thing I am... Um, oh, my little guy's dead. One thing I am not enjoying is the fact that I can't drop my weapons and pick up one of the enemy's weapons. That seems really stupid to me. I should be able to just flick one of my weapons out and then take one of theirs. Is it still developing? If you're asking if it's still in early access, yes, it definitely is. It just released today. I thought they were engaging on me. You're Asian, so you seem to have the upper hand for sure. Okay. Shit. We might be home free. Unfortunately, without a barrel of water. Which is what we needed. But with a decent chunk of loot, which is nice. What the... That's a giant robot. We're not home free. We are nowhere near home free. That's a giant worm robot with arms. All right, let's just bolt. Jesus Christ, the scale of this is staggering. Kind of wish I picked up some of those explosives now. So I could sell them here. So we didn't end up finding a war room. Remember, Very interesting. Okay, dead. who would be against us picking this up again tomorrow? We can play a decent chunk of it. Find out how much of the uh, the missions we can get through. Explore all the other areas fairly thoroughly. As I said during the video, Forever Winter is a fascinating game. The AI needs a touch up, absolutely. But the atmosphere, the gameplay, even the controls over time, after I tweaked my sensitivity a little bit, it all started meshing together into an experience where you really feel like a single mistake will get you crushed like a fly. And yet it doesn't feel overwhelmingly so. This isn't an early access game. It's a game I'm going to play a lot of. It's a game I'm going to experience to the fullest extent. And it's a game I do honestly recommend. What we have here is an unpolished gem of an experience that with a little bit of support and time can become something phenomenal. And I wholeheartedly give it my recommendation. There will be more of this on the channel if you guys are excited for it. If this video doesn't do very well, then it will be, be, con 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 confined. 
words are hard to the Ice Grassland Chain channel. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for enjoying yourselves. And I'll see you next time.